Whether you're building a new website for your wedding photography business or maybe you are redesigning your current one after the last week's news, just like me, in today's video I'm gonna give you an overview of the platforms that are the most popular in the wedding photography space and my recommendations. At the end of the video, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with my website and I'm gonna give you a preview of my new redesigned website and I do have a little surprise for all of you, my beloved subscribers. So make sure you stay until the very end. But my final decision about my website, it's kind of a very personal decision to be honest and I do think that it's not for everyone. That's why I think you should ask yourself a question, what is the purpose of your wedding photography website. For some of you, it's going to be just this portfolio page, you know, to show off your art and maybe to show how, you know, what taste in design you have in terms of like how well designed is your website. For some of you, it's going to be SEO machine. So you want to be the king or queen of Google. And this is how you primarily get leads for your business. Or maybe you just want a website with built in, you know, tools for people to book weddings, like with one click or book sessions with you. And also how proficient are you with, let's say coding, HTML, CSS and stuff like that. Are you like, an Apple user so you need a website that is just beautiful and just works or maybe you're a kind of Android user so you want like unleash the power with the customizations and like you know being able to tweak the stuff so depending on your needs and qualities some of these platforms are going to be better for you and some of them are not are you already feeling lost yeah well you're not the only one so let's take a deep dive so to help you out all of the recommendations I'm going to rate uh, based on five categories. First one is going to be ease of use. Second one, SEO capabilities. Third one, design. Fourth one, features. And fifth one, customization. Okay, so first one is going to be the Squarespace. Squarespace. You've probably heard that many, many times if you watch YouTube, like this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Well, this video is not sponsored by Squarespace. Neither am I. I and I have never been sponsored by Squarespace. I have used Squarespace in the past. I've had my main wedding photography website for a couple of years built on Squarespace. I also have one local site for events that is still running Squarespace. So I have pretty good understanding of what Squarespace has to offer. It's a very easy to use drag and drop website builder with a bunch of ready templates built in that you can start off with. It's a subscription type of service. So you pay monthly or yearly for the website and there is no additional payments actually. No hosting costs, no plugins, etc. Et and even for the first year, you have the domain for free. For the next years, you will have to pay for the domain. But the simplicity of making a good looking website is crazy. It's crazy to the point that I believe that like everyone can build a Squarespace website within a day or two. It's super easy. But as you can probably guess, you can't have everything. So the first flaw is going to be limitations. The Squarespace, like you, you have a bunch of nice looking designs, but if you want to go beyond that and start making something super custom, it's going to be really hard. So like menus and stuff like that, like these things are customizable, but like to the certain point, you don't have a full freedom on the design. And for me, that was like kind of one of the biggest flaws. The second flaw would be SEO limitations. And I'm not talking that like it's completely bad for SEO. Like, yeah, you can rank on Google with a Squarespace, but if you're going to be running the same type of website on Squarespace and for example, WordPress, like for sure, you're going to get a better rankings on WordPress. So if you want to rely on inquiries coming from Google, Google, you might want to consider a different option than Squarespace. Okay, so let's give it points. For ease of use, I'm going to give Squarespace 5 out of 5. For SEO capabilities, I'm going to give 3. For design, I'm going to give it 4. You can have a really nice looking website, uh, you know, out of the box. For features, I'm going to give it 4 as well because you, you can grow the website, you can add e-commerce, you can add HTML codes and stuff like that. So there are some features you can add to the Squarespace website. And then for customization, I'm going to have to give it a two because you you can't go really crazy on customizing your website the other popular platform similar to squarespace is show it and i have a very small experience in show it to be honest i did some research i talked with some people just to give you a proper recommendation so basically show it as I said, similar to Squarespace, drag and drop builder. It is slightly more complicated, but it gives you slight 
slightly more customization options. So basically, this is what I would consider a difference between these two. It also does utilize WordPress blogging feature, which could lead to a better ranking on Google, but, it, but still it's going to be quite similar in this regard. Squarespace. I played a little bit with the trial of Show It, and for me, and I'm quite capable of you know doing things on the web browser like designing, drag and dropping, and stuff like that. Squarespace was easier for me. So to rate Show It, I'm gonna give it four for ease of use, SEO capabilities three, a four design out of the box, four for features similar to Squarespace, and just slightly more customization. So three for customization. The next platform I'm going to talk about is Focal. It's actually a quite new platform. It is endorsed by one of my friends, Taylor Jackson. Taylor Jackson refer. I also met the team at one of the events, so they're like kind of expanding these days. It is a platform made for photographers. So like this is the main purpose. This is not like Squarespace that like everyone can run a business there. It's like strictly made for photographers. And that's the biggest power of this tool. Because with Focal, you're not only getting a website, but you're also getting like a whole, you know, booking system, CRM system, contract system. Uh, so, you know, you have all that stuff underneath in your backend that you can use with Focal. And that's kind of amazing. You can choose uh, from two different plans. One is essential. Second one is called Pro. The Pro is basically a custom website. They're gonna build you a custom website with all these features that Focal has to offer. So like booking system, contracts and all of that stuff included in that. It is a pretty expensive choice compared to all the others, but you get something that no one else has. So you have a custom website with the whole backend system. The second pricing system is a subscription system. So you pay monthly and you get this simple builder with a bunch of ready templates. And I, I gotta be honest, like making website with this system was super quick. You put your name, you upload your photos and it just does magic actually and create a website for you. So it is kind of this do it yourself, but based on couple templates. It sounds pretty awesome, right? Like with everything, all-in-one solutions usually also has certain flaws. So here, if you go for essential plan, you are very limited in terms of design. You just have like couple font options, couple color options. Like you don't have much to do with the website. It's gonna look like the bunch of templates that they have ready. Like, don't get me wrong, it's gonna be working, it's gonna be looking really nice, but you don't have a freedom to customize anything you want, which, which is fair. On the other hand, you have these custom options, but it's not cheap. So these are the options within Focal website. So rating Focal, I'm going to give them five points for ease of use. It's extremely easy to use. With SEO, they promise it's good, but as with everything that you don't have like control over the HTML code and like headings and everything, like it's limited, so it's good, but limited. So I'm gonna give it three points for design out of the box. The design are nice, but not as nice as show it in Squarespace. So I'm gonna give it a three features, five, because it's just packed with features specifically made for photographers and wedding photographers. And for customization, I'm gonna give it a three. And if you go for a custom website, I'm gonna give it five. But what if you want more control over the look and the features of your website? And that leaves me with the final platform, which is WordPress. WordPress has the power all of the other services don't. It has freedom. But with great power comes great responsibility, as Uncle Bob would say. I mean, Uncle Ben. So the freedom, it's both for, you know, making the website whatever you want including screwing it up completely. WordPress alone is free, but you need a hosting. So you have to pay for a server. My recommendation is linked below and you need a theme. You can always go with a free theme that is included with WordPress. Uh, but if you're not like kind of this coding wizard, CSS wizard, yeah, you, it, it's not going to work for you. You will need to buy a theme. And for the last couple of years, the most popular theme for wedding photographers was made by this Moldavian company, uh, Flow Themes, which had like amazing themes, tons of beautifully crafted themes that like photographers just loved easy drag and drop building system. But unfortunately, they were acquired by Pixie Set. And now the last week they announced that they are not going to be supporting um, the Flow Teams websites in WordPress anymore because they're just moving the business completely to Pixie Set, which is a big bummer for all of us using Flow Teams. My Flow Teams website is so outdated that it's 
you know it's not working properly anymore for a long time but even the new websites just built like a month or two months ago with their new theme is not going to be supported from the mid of the next year so if you are on flow themes you either need to redesign your website to a you know change the theme and redesign your pages or you need to change to a different platform like any of the ones that I mentioned before. But if you wanna go with WordPress, so you wanna stay with WordPress, here are my recommendations. First option, you can simply buy a theme. Among a couple of themes that I found researching for this video, I found one uh, called Caldera. It's made by my trusted fellow uh, wedding photographer, SEO geek, uh, Dylan Howell and his wife, Jess, and they made this stylish looking template based on Cadence theme. So very customizable and quite easy to use. And the way he made it is fully in compliance with a SEO strategy. So to get the best SEO results. So all the headings, structure of the website and so on, it's all very Google friendly while keeping the stylish and modern look. He just announced he's gonna be doing one more theme. So if you're watching this later on, it's probably already on the website. The links are in the description, but this is one way to go. So you can go with a theme like this that you know is built for photographers, you know it's a SEO friendly theme, and you know it's a stylish and good looking theme. And then you can buy it and just customize it, you know, change the colors, change the fonts, maybe change the structure a bit so it works better for you. So you can do whatever you want with it. You just have a really good base to start off with. So if I'm rating solution like this, I would give it five for SEO capabilities. Design out of the box, this one is like, it's a nice design. So I'm gonna give it a four. Features, there's millions of plugins, so I'm gonna give it a five. And customization, I'm also gonna give it a five because you can like basically do whatever you want with it as far as you know what you are doing but I have to give it two for ease of use because like WordPress in general there's a huge learning curve if you don't know WordPress at all it's going to be quite difficult and not having anyone around that you can you know rely on ask or maybe hire to do it for you it might be difficult if you are not very familiar with stuff like this. And then if you hire someone, like it might get also a little pricey. Dylan does offer a couple services for WordPress users and my recommendation goes to him. If you want to buy a theme, if you want to have a SEO consultation, like all of the stuff I will link below if you want to try to work on a WordPress with Dylan. The problem I see with buying themes that are being popular in certain circles let's say is that everyone's gonna have like very similarly looking websites so if like a bunch of photographers suddenly be like oh like I'm, I'll go, I'm gonna go buy a theme from Dylan just like a couple of years ago photographers were buying flow themes it was all identical and that leads me to the last solution the one that I personally am going for so a custom WordPress website. So you can make a design either on your own or hire a designer that will just make a design for you. I personally designed my website in Canva. So I just opened Canva and started let's say painting my website. And then you can take this design to a web developer to build a website for you and this way you have custom theme that is just made for you like specifically for you only for you and it's everything that you want it depending on how you will design your website it's going to be more or less seo friendly for example my personal design it's not very seo friendly i don't care about headings i don't care about having specific blocks of texts on the website but also i do not rely with my business on seo and traffic from google Google, I prefer to have a website that stand out from other websites because I drive my clients to the website differently. And also you kind of need to find a person that is going to be a trusted person to build a website for you. I personally recommend my friend Tom. So Tom, he's like a WordPress and SEO wizard. He used to be a photographer and now he's just making websites for other photographers and helping with SEO with other photographers. So similar to Dylan, he can migrate your website to a 
new website. He can help you out with moving platforms. He can help you out moving from theme to theme, or he can build a custom website for you. And if you are on Flawed Themes and you're thinking of switching and making a change because of the announcement, um, make sure to check out Tom's blog post. It's just super detailed, like solutions step by step. What are your options? I will also link all of his stuff down below in the description. You can obviously work with any web developer you will find on the internet. Just make sure to check out their portfolio and maybe even ask them to show you the backend of the websites and, and show you how future proof is the website. Because farther down the road, if you're going to make any changes to the website, like it's better to know that you can handle it on your own and you don't have to hire the same developer, you know, every couple of months if you need to update your website website or do anything to your website. Okay, time for a little surprise. I'm going to be doing a, a website portfolio critiques uh, for my subscribers. So if you want to take part in the website critiques, um, check out the link in the description. There is a link to sign up. So just put the address of your website and your email address. I'm going to be announcing the date and how it's going to work soon. Also, feel free to let me know down in the comments which service or platform you're using and do you like it or not. Like we're all learning here. So the comment section could be a nice place for us to have a discussion. For now, I'm going to go. Thanks so much for watching and I see you very soon. Bye bye.